and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another beautiful day lies ahead of our beautiful nation as we continue to make great amounts of progress across the board. Particularly exciting for today's session is the fact that we will most likely be seeing the maiden flight from our airport over here whose grand opening should be taking place within the next handful of minutes. I'm going to say handful of minutes, but really it's probably going to be like 20 or 30 or so minutes. A couple of finishing touches, got to get a new plane of course, and we need to organize the transit of tourists that arrive, but it should be happening this session folks. Apart from that as well, lots of other stuff to take care of as well. I won't bore you with a prolonged introduction as always. We'll keep it short and sweet, just want to mention if you've been enjoying the series, if you want to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, it makes an absolutely massive difference in high approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of and how I go about doing it. Again, I look at the number of likes and comments and I also read every comment to influence my decision making process. Folks, with all that said and done, let's get this party started, shall we? There is, like I said, a lot to do today and honestly to a degree it's definitely a little uh <laughs> i guess paralyzing when you've got so many options and so many things to tackle it can get a little daunting but the first order of business is something that i keep forgetting to do but i keep getting reminders so again thank you uh in the comments for you know dropping reminders every once in a while for uh, for things that keep slipping my mind but let's go ahead and get our name officially on the uh the the airport over here so it is the marat revolution revolution come on there we go can't type while it's saving revolutionary airport and when i save that it should pop up right over here i do love that the game uh, has this capability and it's not just for the airport it's for quite a few buildings in fact i believe the hotels uh have it as well so we can get the uh the marat uh airport hotel for example temporary name for now but uh, you can see how like now it's got a name on top of it uh, oh, seems like it's facing this way. Hmm, not exactly what I would hope for. I wish that would be a bit more customizable, I suppose, so I could flip it to face this way instead. Uh, might actually opt to not have the name. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know actually. I don't know what I'd prefer. For now, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of that, and y'all let me know what you think. Uh, I do wish you could choose uh, which side it would be on, but anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, there's a couple of spots where things like that are possible. There are a couple of uh, spots where uh, things like that are. Uh, Auto build was checked. Hopefully, I didn't rush a construction somewhere. Uh, there's a couple of places where uh, where you can um, where you can get those names down. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for uh, for good spots for for that kind of thing, and we'll get uh, we'll get those names uh, you know in where relevant. Like I think, for example, our uh, propaganda TV over here uh, maybe deserves a proper sign. I'll look at that. See, is that not fantastic? I do love that this is an option in the game. It just it, it's such it just it's it's a little detail but it really does personalize the space uh the radio as well let's see where the sign goes up over here uh oh yeah look at that look at that that's great <laughs> that's fantastic i love it i love it I, again it's something i've been meaning to do for a while but it keeps slipping my mind and uh, and then finally you know i again i keep getting reminders and i appreciate that and finally with this session's or last session's comments, I was like, yeah, I need to finally sit down and do it. Uh, and again, there's there's other spots as well. We need a name for the Studensky TV station and one for the. Um, oh man, we could name our, uh, our 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 medical universities as well. Actually, now that I think about it, now why is Studensky radio station weird? The radio station here, I can't put a a name on. That's strange. Like, uh, I can rename it obviously, but I can't. Put the actual sign up on and that's very uh, weird not sure why that is anyway i'm i'm getting distracted by uh by small things here and there i apologize for that let's go ahead and i think we're more or less ready to hit play our population is looking pretty good close to 52 which is nice uh again the 21 plus is a perpetual problem it'll always be a problem but we'll try and solve that in the near-ish future it's been recommended actually that i just straight up scoop up uh an entire section of saint elitesburg over here and just you know kind of like replicate it down over here not a bad idea not a bad idea because it does have everything from uh, food, meat, clothes, electronics, education. Uh, it's even got culture. It's got sports, not as much as I would like, perhaps. It's got double the education as well, actually. Uh, so it's not a bad idea at all. What I might want to consider doing first is adding a bit more uh, sort of aspects of sport 
uh, to this space before doing it, or maybe adding a couple of playgrounds or something before replicating it. But that is definitely a good idea. Not something I'm going to urgently tackle, though. Uh, apart from that, unemployment is looking all right. Again, there's some construction going on here and there, so I'm sure that's helping. Uh, we will continue to uh, try and fix this. Of course, we do have the... Um, we've got more people coming down over here. I do believe workers are being spread properly. I think there was a comment that was in reference to workers not being spread properly between these two uh, uh, power plants, but it looks like we're fine over here. The only other thing I imagine that comment was in regards to was the power plant up over here, but this power plant actually has direct delivery of uh, workers with some micro buses and whatnot. So I don't think uh, I don't think that's the issue. We'll we'll see what the uh, we'll see what the deal is though. Um, moving forward with some of those brownouts and stuff we were experiencing, I did get some recommendations and suggestions with regards to what it might be. Uh, I might tackle them today. I might save that until a later date because today I want to try and focus on. Uh, not just the airport, but also our new tourist uh, spot up over here. Our first delivery of cars will be arriving at this car dealer shortly. Hopefully that'll mean that folks who are able to access uh, these parking lots, which would be all of these people, right? I'm hoping that these guys will be able to, uh, to purchase cars uh, and then go over here and drive down to here to work this, uh, this, this tourist destination. But we'll, uh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Actually, on that note, though, I was given a suggestion. Well, so I got a suggestion for what to call this tourist bus line that I was talking about last session, uh, and then I kind of, I kind of I, I ran with it and have come with a come come with a, a a bit of a bit of a joint solution, if you will. And I sincerely hope you don't mind. We're gonna go ahead and view line details and rename this to be the uh, the in 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 memory of <laughs> last episode's keyword. This will be the glory bus. Get it? Because it's 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 a glorious bus. It's it's the glory bus. It's kind of I don't know. <laughs> Listen, didn't say it was a good idea. I said it was an idea that I liked. Hope y'all like it too. Let's go ahead and copy that over to these other two spots. Again, we're not going to start these until workers actually start arriving at the new tourist destination. With that said, let's hit play and uh, let's get our eyes over here. So what am I waiting for? Really, I'm waiting for these to be done. And it looks like we just need some workers at both spots, actually. So we're not even waiting for materials. We're just waiting for workers. Once that's done, we'll be delivering fuel over to uh, uh, to here, right? And meanwhile, I could just deliver fuel over to here directly. Uh, maybe, maybe. Why not? Why not? Right? Why not? It'll take some time to get there. So let's go ahead and get you from all the way down over here. Uh, unloading here for now. Try to keep it at 90%, sure. I don't know if we'll need that much. Um, I, I want I, I definitely want to get our first flight happening in 2000, and I don't know how long it takes for a plane to get to the runway and to actually take off, but if it at least makes it onto the tarmac in the year 2000, I'll be happy. And it looks like we're getting some workers delivered over here. Oh, you know what? This is actually done. Oh, this will be done any second now. I didn't need more workers delivered over here, but, you know, fair enough. I'll take it. Hopefully there's some workers being brought for, uh, for this spot as well. Soon, hopefully. <laughs> no one being sent over just quite yet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Any of these vehicles headed out yet? Yeah, we got uh, we got a couple of these guys making their way over. A few of these guys making their way over. Actually, fantastic. So December fourth being my birthday is going to be the day that I'm going to purchase a vehicle. Uh, I got quite a few requests with regards to which vehicle to get. Um, I think eventually and inevitably we'll be getting, I don't want to say all of them, but, you know, we'll be getting a good variety. Uh, I quite like this Concorde-ish design of the TU-144. T TU is the, the Tupolev or the Tupolev? I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Uh, someone will have to correct me, of course, and I, I welcome that correction in uh, in, in, in the comments. But, uh, but, but I quite like the... Um, the Concorde-esque design over here. It is fewer passengers, yes, but it is, like, it's fewer passengers than the 154, uh, but it is significantly faster, which is absolutely wild to me. Uh, 960 meter takeoff distance. I do believe we have that, right? I wish I could see the measurement. I, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this is, this is long enough for our, uh, for that to take off. One of these two. And if it's not, then we will be able to extend it a little bit. 36. What do the numbers mean? 
What do the numbers mean? I I'm pretty sure we we kept we were cognizant of that uh, requirement. I uh, know, of course, there are. Uh, we can also get uh, Western planes as well, but that's not what I'm looking for over here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves this thing just because I want to. Um, I think I think this. I believe I believe the 154 was being suggested just because it is still kind of relevant in terms of a time frame uh, sort of a thing. Um, it's also significantly cheaper. It's significantly cheaper. But, you know, money, whatever, right? <laughs> whatever, I kind of want this thing. Let's go for it. Oh, look at that. That looks quite good. That Oh, man, that looks beautiful. That looks really beautiful. <laughs> it's, just, it's a strange design, eh? Oh, it's so wild. I wonder if that nose actually tips or what happens. Oh, hey, look at the flag back here. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, cool. We've, we've got, uh, we've got our first plane. Um, again, I just wanted to purchase it on the 4th of December. I wanted to make sure that I got that on my birthday. Uh, and can I actually, no, I can't send you over here. I wonder if we'll need more, um, sort of lots for these guys to wait at is going to be an interesting thing to uh, to find out. But uh, you're going to be going to where? New stop beyond the borders. We're going to be bringing in Western tourists. Um, and then you're going to... It's like, do, do we want to start over here? And then go beyond the borders and then come back over here? I'm actually, I'm not sure. Let's do that. I mean, either way, it ends up being a loop at one point. Uh, keep load and unload on, but it's just going to be for tourists, not for passengers. We don't need we, we don't need to give people another way to get out of the country. Um, they can walk or take the bus. Um, but yeah, this is good. Tourists, load, unload. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, over here as well. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are focusing on tourists only. Not that I, I don't think you can pick up anybody else. Uh, and again, we'll hit start soon. Very soon. You will be arriving shortly. This thing will hopefully be done construction shortly if not oh where are you headed to unfinished road 1327 what that's not what i need you for <laughs> i might just pay for this honestly got a couple things being built over here we'll need to get workers up over here as well uh not necessarily in a rush for that i would say uh and from this airport i'm initially going to actually send uh everybody over to here Get everybody going over there. So we brought down over here and to this hotel over here. I don't want them getting stuck up over there. Actually, now that I think about it, I do wonder. Uh, now is a worthwhile time to experiment. Um, let's go ahead and tourists. Go ahead and spread you guys out. Oh, I can only send them to bus or train platforms. You know what? In that case, let's go ahead and um, get rid of that. And let's see where they go. Let's see where they end up going. Let's see how they interact with the space. It's an opportunity to learn. Uh, and I will take that opportunity on. Uh, beyond that, though, what else was there, right? I want to get some more buses down because I want to make sure that I'm able to bring those folks over properly. Uh, so let's go ahead and swap over to the MZ-104. Again, our, like, signature tourist bus, I suppose, if you will. Um, sounds good to me. Up over here. I wonder how long it'll take for these, the uh, fuel to arrive, actually. How far along are you? Oh, ho, 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 man. It is a long way to go. Is a long way to go. I'm actually curious which way they go. Do they take this like highway route over here and then transfer over that way? I'm actually a little curious to see uh, the, the angle of approach, the attack vector, if you will. No, I guess not. You're going to go up this way, eh? All right, fair enough. You're going to go up this way. Go up this way. That's actually an interesting call. I would not have expected that. I would have expected them to go, uh, you have to go up this way. There's less traffic. It's, uh, it's relatively close. But, hey, you know, we'll, we'll you live and you learn, I suppose. Um, I do want to upgrade all these roads, I think. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Uh, auto build. All of you. These buses are moving faster. And when, uh, when, when tourists arrive, they're able to, you know, see nice roads and stuff down over here. This hotel is relatively full. It's not full. It's relatively full. Obviously, the more staff we have, the better it is, but uh, you can see also tourists not able to participate in sport, culture. We need to add some more touristy stuff over here for sure. Might want to adjust this a little bit. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Where are you at? 
Yeah, like going all the way around this way. Okay, an interesting call, but uh, hey, you do you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Down over here, still no progress. Eh? Oh, looks like we're finally getting some uh, movement though. Some cranes coming over. We got some workers coming over as well. Okay, excellent. That'll mean that everything over here we will have made ourselves, including the uh, you know, little tourist stops over here. And see, my concern is that these things have been built, but nobody's working there. So will will tourists still opt to go there? Now I could bring workers. In fact, I think I might bring workers up over here uh, to get them across. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I believe we have this bus over here that I can assign for that exact purpose. Right. I need to do uh, uh, the color swapping as well at some point. All right. So I'm going to have you starting over here. Right. Head on over up this way and drop them off over here. So up over here, we're going to load. Um, whoops, I don't know why I unchecked that. Load workers. Again, I do not want passengers riding on this bus. So load workers and then over here at the cableway. Unload workers. I, I don't know. <laughs> it just felt like clicking on these check marks, I guess. That ought to do the trick. And then from there, they'll go up there. They'll go to work wherever they're needed. And yeah, that, that should work. I don't think I need that many people. One bus for now. Eventually, we'll add. Uh, eventually, we'll add more, of course. And I'll need a gas station somewhere up over here as well. Our closest gas station is quite far away, actually. So we'll need one, maybe actually up over here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, not in a rush necessarily, but soon. Really, no workers delivered here yet. I'm like so personally attached to the progress of this airport. I'm a big. I like. I'm a. I'm. I'm big on flying. I. I love flying. Actually, I quite enjoy it. Uh, I quite enjoy. Well, parts of the airport experience. Let's put it that way. Not all of it, obviously, but parts of the airport experience. I love the idea of 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 travel and all that stuff and flight, etc., etc., etc. So I don't know. I, I feel like the uh, the airport project has been uh, has been special for me in more ways than one. Uh, more ways than just how cool it is that it's a completely new feature in this game that. Uh, that we can uh, get involved with. Uh, one, maybe two tourist buses? I don't know. I uh, definitely want some of these afterwards, though. At least one. I'm gonna get dropped off over here. I'm gonna move you over here. Because this is gonna be one of the tourist buses that brings tourists down from uh, from the uh, the airport. Um, as will this other one, too. And then this will be another bus to bring workers over to that airport area. Yeah, that sounds good to me. That sounds good. Cable engine is off. Let's go ahead and start the engine, though. Again, we don't want people arriving only to be, um, well, sitting there doing absolutely nothing. How's this tunnel coming along? Well, decently. Decently. We'll still take some time. Hopefully, now that all the other construction here is almost done, uh, it'll be uh, it'll be rushed. It'll be focused on. Oh, it looks like our first bits of fuel have uh, have arrived. Quite a bit of fuel, actually. Uh, which kind of means we can start. Kind of means we can get this thing going. Oh, damn. Um, well, hang on. Let's go ahead and make sure that this... What? Oh, it's going to get some gas, isn't it? There you are. All right, buddy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start over there. You're going to pick up just tourists. Maybe you'll drop them off as well, I guess. And then you're going to come down... over to here afterwards. Let's get rid of this stop. For tourists as well. Yeah, that should do the trick. That should do the trick. Has the other bus done? Not yet. It's already... We're already getting this started. That's fine. Oh, this bus is, this bus is almost done. I just want to get this bus done, and then we'll go ahead and... Because I don't want to have it get sold by mistake instead, you know? I just want to get the bus done, and then we can go ahead and assign the schedule right away and uh, and move on from that conversation, move on from that point of focus, uh, and think about other things. Like our first... Our, our maiden flight happening in the year 2000. I'm glad we've made it in time. Uh, we can also think about the... Uh, uh, the the tourist the the beach tourism up uh, up north of the old city. I'm I'm really actually excited as well to finally to have like cars delivered to the old city. It's been such a long time coming, and it's such a it's that like it's 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 the old city getting something from the new city. It's that there's there's something about it, you know. There's something about it that just feels really quite uh, quite cool um, with regards to its implications. Right, let's go ahead and copy this over. Oh, of course. 
And get over. Now can I? There we go. Beautiful. Cable away. Okay, just got to make sure that... Um, just got to make sure that it... Uh, gets to... Uh, gets to work right away. There we go. Didn't think so. But let's start you. Wonderful. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to have our first flight happen at night. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, damn, that's so cool. Watch that we don't have a runway of the right length. Oh, you know, I actually kind of don't mind that. Nah, I want to I wanna see it during the day. We'll, we'll, we'll catch it at night as well, but I want to see our first flight happen during the day. Look at this space, though. It's so nice and bright and just... <laughs> I'm excited. Y'all excited? I'm excited. I'm really pumped, actually. I'm really pumped. Pumped like this uh, fuel is going to be. Looks like this has been completed as well. Wonderful. Before our uh, maiden flight, we've got uh, everything in order. Everything's in place. We're not like, you know doing like a haphazard launch just because. Uh, one thing I will mention, by the way, actually being down here reminds me, uh, it's been recommended that apart from just the uh, the new additions down over here as far as employment opportunities, I should also take a look at... Um, I should also take a look at... On the fuel, thank you. The... Um, the... Uh, uh, mines. Mines is a great way to get people employed because mines take so many people on. And I'm sure... That there are, I mean, this coal mine we can complete for sure as, as one option, uh, but I'm sure there are other resources that we can acquire in this area. Um, like if we if we try to put down another iron mine or something, I'm, I'm, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be so sure there's an iron mine. Okay, there's a couple pockets here and there. Uh, point being, point being, oh, there's an entire like iron industry we could establish down over here as well, actually. Iron and steel and, and all that jazz. Uh, what about, I don't think bauxite is available this close, right? Yeah, box that I'm pretty sure we have to go quite far for, if memory serves me right. Oh, not that far, actually. Not that far. Oh, okay, actually, no, that's quite far. <laughs> I take it back, that's very far. Um, but yeah, so that, that's actually a great point, because uh, mines do employ quite a few people. Um, and uh, and we could definitely take advantage of that. Like, if, if, uh, if each mine is topped up, that's 250 people employed each. And I should also consider making things a bit smoother over here, making sure that people are coming down here a bit more. Oof. When did this start becoming such a problem? We really got to sort that out, though. Anyway, um, let's not let that distract us. The sun has risen. Let's, uh, let's fly. Let's do this. I can't believe it's finally happening. First stop is unreachable. All right, fantastic. Nothing like a, nothing like a little bit of, um, an anticlimactic start. Go ahead and clear that. Start over here. Go beyond the border. Um, come on now. No passengers over here as well. There we go. Now start. First stop is unreachable. What? No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Why is it unreachable? How is it unreachable? Why does it... Wait, well, that doesn't make any sense. Wait a second, why is it, what, 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 what? Starting at the airport, we're definitely connected. That shouldn't be a problem. I've had it work this way in the past without issue, so I'm not sure why this is, uh... Problem. I'm honestly, I'm tempted to sell this vehicle and, and get a different one just to see if it's because of runway lengths. I was so sure that we, um, I can't even measure this way, can I? Yeah, Cause it's going to be like, oh, can't, uh, can't build it. So you can't measure it. That's 400. I wish I could see your length. I was so sure this was 960. In fact, what I could do is I could... Okay, here's something we could do. Uh, level train... Right from center. Auto build. I do this. Because all I have to do is like extend... Uh, extend the runway and it'll tell me what its total length is. I was so sure we had 960. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I did 950 instead. Oh man, don't do this to me again. It's okay. We'll just get the other airport. 
I bought uh, I bought one on the fourth of December as a gift to myself. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll sell it because we don't have another place to store it, stow it away or anything like that. But that's really weird. The taxiways are all connected properly, so that shouldn't be part of the problem. We should be fine on that front, in fact. Yeah, see, we're like... We're... Definitely over 960 over here, so it's not a runway length thing. Should be able to get back... Over here. You're connected up over here. Oh, hang on a second. Did I not build... I've got a control tower. Oh... This might be why. So hang on, where where is my first set of workers? Can you back over there? Let's go. I wonder if that's why. I don't know if it would say it's unreachable, but I wonder if that's why. Now, how did you pick up no workers up over here? How's that even possible? All right, this will be this will be interesting. This will be interesting, and perhaps somewhat unfortunate if it doesn't work work out that I would be that would be quite quite unfortunate if it doesn't work out come on bus I believe in you you can move faster than that actually quite a slow bus isn't it and it doesn't help that this guy's driving so erratically what could you possibly be doing that's that important stalling this bus for so long let's go let's go let's go I don't I don't think I don't think that's the reason but I can't, for the life of me, um, think of anything else. Now, let's see. Coming through over here, there's 300 plus workers. No, what? Load workers of all types. What are you, what's going on here? Why is it so broken? Looping around again. This is kind of a uh, strange uh, hiccup in our path to glory. Come on now. What the hell? What? Why are you not picking up any workers? This doesn't make any sense. At St. Elysburg Center. Yeah. Get in. Workers. There's 431 workers waiting. Okay, if you're not going to work there, you work down here. And over here instead. If, if this is the reason that we're not able to launch a plane um, this year, I will be a little upset, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's so weird to me. So weird to me. But let's uh, let's see what that does. Come on, now hurry it up, hurry it up. And I wish this would actually tell me the uh, first stop is unreachable. Like, is it because of the control tower? Is it because of something else? It doesn't give me enough information here to to make a, a decision, to make a call. I can't even like move it around on the taxiway, so I can't check if the taxiways are all fine. Should be. Should be okay. Alright, come on, buddy. Pick up some workers. We're almost here. The 17th of December. We're cutting it real close. Maybe it'll be uh, on the 1st of January that this uh, airplane takes off. But this is uh, certainly a little concerning. Alright, you're going to loop around that way. You're going to go in. And you're going to pick up some workers. No, what the hell? What's going on? Okay, do you pick up workers? You pick up workers just fine. Man, I don't understand this. Don't understand this. Alright, you know what? If you're picking up workers just fine, then... Get you... Going here instead. Go for it. I don't understand your deal, but I think what it might be is that because we were assigning it a schedule while it was still out and about, maybe it just didn't, you know, didn't understand what we were asking it to do or something. I, I have no idea. I'm just making stuff up. I'm just making stuff up. 
but I can see that being a potential uh, pause, I suppose. Ambulance is over here for sale. Makes sense. Another one of these buses coming out. Come on now. Let that bus go. Is it you? Yeah, it is you. Go ahead and speed time up a little bit. Let's see how long have they been in the vehicle? Forty minutes. Yeah, Get, getting up to getting up to here shouldn't be a problem in terms of uh, timings and whatnot. And again, we can only hope that this is the issue. We can only hope that uh, it is uh, a matter of the control tower being empty. Oh man, my my heart is racing right now. We're very low on time. Hopefully, all these workers go to the right spot. Hey, what? Why aren't you unloading workers over here? What's going on, man? Honestly, what's going on? Unload workers. Yeah, of all kinds. No limitations on who. This... Like... Have I... Set this up incorrectly? Because up over here, what do we have? Up over here... I haven't specified anything. Things are running. fine workers are able to wait as well for for a for for a, for a cable car to arrive so it's not like a car has to be there when the passengers arrive well, that's fine I haven't specified where people should go okay load and unload is all checked off maybe I should Sure, let's let's uncheck unload over here just in case that does the trick pull you back over here come on you turn over here let's go come on now still nothing what the what i i have no idea what's going on here i might just pay for this uh this tunnel Yeah, whatever. Money's money's fine. I. It's more a matter of getting these workers up there to see if that's what solves the problem. <laughs> I, and that would explain why they're not being picked up over here by that bus because it's not seeing this as a drop-off point. But why would it not see this as a drop-off point? I legitimately have not got a clue. Over here. Let's compare it to the situation at Moria. Down over, where are we? Um, they come up, they get down over here. Is it because I haven't assigned where citizens should be, where workers should be going? Right, you know, let's uh, let's try it. That's the one thing I can see is like I haven't told people here where they should be going once they arrive. I don't think that's the reason, but. I can also change this to be unload. Not that that's what I want. <laughs> but let's try it. There, for now, let's just add that one building. Not the fire station. Control tower, please. All right, and the, 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 the bridge is being built as well at the same time, so hopefully that'll... Um, Hopefully that'll be done if this fails and then this will be done by the time we um by the time we're done this loop. Still nothing, I got nothing. That's so weird. This thing's not gonna get done being built anytime soon. What the hell? I, I legitimately have no idea now. Well that's really frustrating um okay <laughs> it's 21st of December this tunnel is uh, gonna take some time to make I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this stop and add you instead I don't know how you're gonna make your way there 
suppose you go here first. Up some more workers. By the time you're back up over here, this should be done. And we'll find out if that was a struggle all along. You know, this was not supposed to be the focus of today's episode. We were supposed to do a couple of different things. But this is an interesting bit of troubleshooting. If y'all have any suggestions as to what the issue could be, you'll absolutely free to let me know. But I haven't got a clue. It's working. It's Even if I set it up exactly how it's set up at, uh, at Moria, it's um, not working. I guess you could go down there, 22nd of December. And even if uh, even if this is, uh, I really hope that it's a matter of the uh, the control tower, and not something else over here. These taxiways should be fine to allow access. Bring you back around. This thing's almost done. I want this to do a U-turn. I feel bad for all these workers who are just like, what is this bus doing? It's getting direct orders from uh, the head of government. That's what it's doing. All right. This got to make sure this tunnel is done first, and then we're going to go ahead and send people through. Any second now. Picked up some more workers too. Great, fantastic. Almost the twenty fifth of December now. Is the twenty fifth of December now? Got to get real close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get done, get done, get done. There it is. Okay, flip you around. Now why... Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like, now why is this happening? Alright, fine. Come on, buddy. Believe in you. Believe in you. Why did you... Why did gas? The comedy of errors over here. Alright, listen. You continue on this way. Get rid of that. You, you've got passengers. Good, excellent. I need to come up over here instead. This is an emergency. This is an emergency. Unload workers up there. Go. Got gas in the tank. Fine. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Caught him at the right time. He's able to turn around. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. This would better do the trick, though. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Pop out this way, up over there. 27th of December, it's the race against time over here. How long is this tunnel? How long will it take? Still coming, still coming. It is the 28th now. Out you come. I just hope this at least solves the, uh, the, the issue, you know? That's my main concern, I guess. Alright, here we go. These guys have arrived, operating without issues. Now please tell me. Nice, that is exactly what the issue was. Okay, I can breathe easy now. Alright, so. With that done, <laughs> we can go ahead and get you back on your regular uh, routine over here. Right? Yep. A lot of these workers over here are going to be unemployed for the day. Not the end of the world. You're done. Up over here, where is our... There you are. So you are fine now, but rather than go to the cableway station... Now, this cableway station better work for the tourists. It might not. It might not, and that would be a bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. You're going to go ahead and pick people up at the center bus stop, and you're going to unload them. Not at the cableway station. Oh, no, no, no. Not at the cableway station. You're going to unload them over here from where hopefully they're able to walk everywhere. Yes, that'd be cool. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Um... Unload workers, pick up workers, unload workers, yes, get you started so we can get things kind of moving. Uh, hopefully that does the trick. Um, U line details, we're going to go ahead and call this the uh, airport shuttle uh, workers. Or you know what? Yeah, actually that works. Because then all the airport shuttle buses will be categorized together when you're organized by name. So, done, accept those changes, go ahead and you are started. All right, so you're good. You're moving. Oh my god, I was cutting it real close. Like, again, you know, my oversight was that not having people in the control tower, right? I forgot that that's kind of essential for <laughs> things to, to take off. But then I, I got really nervous because the warning wasn't really telling me everything I needed to know. It wasn't telling me exactly what the issue was. And I was like, well, the connections are fine. But that took a couple of, couple of moments for me to realize what the problem might be. Um, 
And then, uh, and then this whole cableway thing, I still am not sure what the deal is. Because it started with load, unload, everything checked, everything, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out. Gonna have to figure it out. But for now, listen, I'm just glad that we're able to start this. Let's go ahead and get you going beyond the borders right off the bat. I'm pretty sure, hold on actually, you know, let's go ahead and, um... I'm pretty sure we're able to, to, to take off just fine. So let's go ahead and close that. Hit play and enjoy the journey. There it is. That is exciting. Oh, it's so cool to see it like navigate the space and everything. Plus it's such a cool looking uh Lane as well. Oh, look at that, the little heat waves and stuff. I wasn't expecting that from this game. Again, this game always has like, it packs a lot of little like surprises, I suppose. One of my, one of my biggest, uh, quote unquote complaints, I guess. I kind of wish the camera was a bit better. I always feel very, uh, out of place with the camera. It like, it, it uh, it accelerates too quickly. It doesn't have like any easing in or out, so it's very like juddery. And uh, again, if you follow this channel for a very long time, you'll know I'm, I'm big on uh, on camera work and stuff. So that's one of my key like issues. Yeah, like jittery that is. And it didn't used to be the, the latest update actually made the camera, in my opinion, just a little bit rougher. But whatever. Enough talk about the camera. Let's talk about the moment. This is quite exciting. Oh man! It is the 30th of December. What are the chances? There it is. Try to catch it. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> where'd my plane go? Where am I actually? That moved a lot faster than I expected. It's oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's it's gone. It's goner than gone. Oh, buddy. That was fast. That was really quite fast, actually. We made it. We made it. Oh my god. I, oh man, I am actually, I am genuinely pleased and surprised. I was so sure that um, we weren't actually going to have, uh, we weren't actually going to take off in, in the year 2000. But we did. We took off in the year 2000. Will we land in the year 2000 as well? Yeah, we're going to spend some time out there. I don't think so. I think we won't be back until 2001. But that's fine. It was all about the, the maiden like the maiden like you know take off if you will oh there we are man this is a fast plane how cool is this oh it's so cool are you gonna circle the airport like a hundred times or no just gonna go straight for the landing fair enough oh okay oh are you actually gonna circle Yo, for real? Yes! Oh, that's cool. I was wondering, I was like, don't tell me this game like simulates so much, but it's not going to simulate uh, circling down, you know, to, to drop your altitude, get into the right angle and all that. That's so dope, man. There you have it. Happy New Year. A momentous occasion to bring us into the year 2001. To have our uh, greatest plans and our greatest dreams take flight. Has been an absolute pleasure. That was dope. Am I the only one who's freaking out over how dope that was? That was dope. Amazing. Amazing. This follow cam is actually better than I'd anticipated. I wish I'd take it. I'd use this for uh, for liftoff. We'll do it next time. 13 tourists in this <laughs> massively ludicrous expense of a plane.
the control tower just needs workers for takeoff, not for uh, not for for landing. Evidently. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where is uh, where is that bus of ours? It's making its way. Uh, it's making its way over. Fair enough. Man. Now this is the part of the uh, the flying experience that uh, that I load the most. It's just like you've arrived. And you've been on like a, what, a five hour, six hour flight, maybe a seven hour flight, and you're just like, okay, can, can we just get to the terminal now? It is really cool though to see the pathfinding in action, like going through the taxiways and stuff, kind of going over the grass every once in a while, but overall, which way are you going to come through? Oh, this way, because this is the only, uh, only spot you could stop at, of course. Come over here, you're going to do a full on, like, 60 degree turn, very nice. And just like that, our first tourists arrive by air. That's exciting. That's very exciting. That, that's super cool. Now, are you guys going to get dropped off over here? Unspecified destinations. Now, can they not be dropped off until there are people at the uh, control tower? I guess we're about to find out. Looks like we're still over here. You're fueling up. Okay, fair enough. Now are you going to fuel up and then drop the, the tourists off? Or what's the plan over here? And where is this bus as well? We're obviously going to need multiple buses to, to keep the uh, control tower operational at all times. Where are you? Okay, you're in the tunnel right now. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see what happens over here. Again, these guys are willing to wait for quite some time. Looks like they are still fine. Okay. Looking alright, we're looking alright. Here comes the bus. It's a slow bus, isn't it? I need a faster bus. Alright, out come the people. Hopefully they've spread out. Alright, hopefully enough of them are coming to the control tower. This is me without specifying their distribution. We should be okay, I think. Looks like quite a few people are headed over to the control tower. Yep. Alright, I want to make sure I don't miss... Oh god. <laughs> so many things open. Hmm. Now I didn't see... Okay, cool. As I didn't see what happened to the tourists. It looks like the tourists... So it looks like the plane gets fueled up first, and then the tourists get off, which sounds very counterintuitive and very unsafe. And then once they're over here, the tourists wait. But from here, I have to tell you where to go. I'm going to send you down over here. And let's see if the cableway works on, in the other direction, at least, right? Now, we want to we wanna load as well as unload. That's why I had everything checked previously. And over here as well, we want to load as well as unload. Right? Uh, where are our tourist buses that are supposed to be tackling this. I believe I've got the one, right? Oh no, I've got both already. Cool. Cool, the MZ-104 is the tourist bus indeed. Alright, fantastic. That should be all good. Uh, gonna go ahead and hit play here. There you go, you've got your signal now because everyone's at the, the tower. Um, tourists. Hmm. Oh, right, 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 right. Tourists need to go down here. My bad. Don't know if they will, though. Now, that's a little bit on the silly side. Okay, can I send you over here instead? I can't send you... No, I can't send you over here. I wonder if it's not assigning where to go because they have uh, they have no instructions or they have no um, they, they didn't have instructions when they first arrived fair enough, fair enough, where is my tourist bus over here you. you're actually going to go you want detail go ahead and add airport. What? This is going to be a mess. Um, 
can add the airport after the cableway station as a place to load up on tourists. Yes. But also unload tourists. Yes. Okay. Cool. That should do something for us. Let's go ahead and get you where are you headed right now? The cableway station? Okay, let's go ahead and watch this then. Nope, everybody left. Or wait, hold on. Did they leave or did they go somewhere else? Oh, oh, okay. Looks like they're moving. Oh, fantastic. I guess it just takes some time for it to determine where to go. All right, fair enough, fair enough. That's good, that's good. So what happens over here then? These tourists will arrive, some of them. Okay, there's one tourist. Some of them are like walking through the tunnel, eh? I don't know where they're planning on walking to. Three tourists. All right, now this cable car is arriving. Not getting on here. Why are you not getting on here? Something is up with how I've set up these cable cars. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. Unless they were just waiting for some time and now they're heading over. Find out. One of these cars might have a bunch of tourists in them. And this bus is going to come to the airport. I should probably get the bus coming to the uh, bus stop instead so it feels a bit more, you know, like it's supposed to. Uh, looks like... No tourists have arrived here yet. I feel like we've run a full circuit. Hmm. Keeping an eye on it. Keeping an eye on it all the same. Yeah, I got nothing. Got tourists coming here, but none ending up over here. Fair enough. Yeah, looks like no one's actually making it across. Okay, fair enough. That's weird, though. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, if I follow you... Just trying to figure this out, folks. I hope y'all uh, don't mind. I want to know what's going on with my with my tourists here. So many, like, menus open right now. My buddy's just staying here. Waiting on platform. Yep. Still just waiting on the platform. Never gonna make it across. Man, that sucks. I guess the cableway doesn't work, or maybe maybe I'm missing something over here. If if y'all have any idea what's causing this issue, feel free to let me know. Because I definitely wanna fix it. I definitely want it to work properly. But until it is working properly, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the cableway station. Rather than going to the airport, you're going to go to this stop over here. And at this stop, you're going to go ahead and load and unload um, tourists and tourists. Go to the airport as a stop as well. Done. Cool. That ought to do the trick. And let's make sure that from here, no one's going to the cableway station. Just to the bus stop. Yeah, that'll that'll do the trick. Imagine these guys have just left. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, okay, interesting. Interesting. Where's our plane? Oh, there it is, just arriving. Oh, it's so neat. It's so cool. Oh, look at the lights and stuff as well. Can you imagine being that pilot, though, and having... Um, the lights flicker on and off as you're trying to make your uh, approach. <laughs> we definitely need to we definitely need to figure out our uh, our electricity situation over here. Right, how many tourists are on here though? Fourteen tourists. Follow them and make sure that they are properly taken care of. Again, it'll take some time for it to arrive properly, but that's neat. And again, we can get some more uh, planes going as well. Now, what's the problem over here? Actually, let's take a look at our. It's not about consumption, it's about how much power is actually coming to this spot, which means it's a matter of how much power we're actually producing. The question is, where at? Veterinkograd? Or Uprisinggrad? Man, what a, what a sight, actually. 
beautiful. This is pulling power from over here, right? We'll we'll take a look at it when the, when the sun's up, so I can actually see what's going on. And you've got 14 tourists. It takes quite some time, doesn't it? Now it lands over here, and I guess it goes up that way. Why don't we Why don't we go ahead and build a taxiway that connects you over this way, and then you over this way? That should make it a little bit faster, right? All right. So it's gonna check. I'm guessing again it'll it'll fuel up first before it drops the tourists off, but we'll find out together. This rave. Welcome to welcome to our glorious nation. I, actually, this time around the tourists are being dropped off right away. Fair enough. Five of them waiting over here. I think they're all making their way over. Okay. How long will they wait there before a bus comes to pick them up? The MZ-104 is making its way over right now. It is all the way down over here. We might need some more tourist buses over here, so they're moving uh, farther faster. And able to get food and meat. I mean, that's something we have to solve by delivering food and meat up over here, of course. We'll get on that right away. Looks like Buddy's about to uh, take off again. Oh yeah, we can get pretty close. Kind of want to catch this. Kind of want to catch this with the uh, the follow cam as the sun is rising. It's actually quite exciting. <laughs> it's it's worked out quite nicely. I mean, it was a bit of a panic. I'm not gonna lie, bit of a panic. Um, I wasn't sure we we're gonna make our our deadline, but uh, but we did. Perseverance uh, won out. Good thing that we had some money set aside to invest in the uh, the tunnel, because without that we wouldn't have workers at the control center. Again, if the um, if the control tower just worked as I thought it would, rather no, if the cableway uh, stations worked as I thought they were supposed to, we'd be fine. Oh, here we go. Look at that, like just like the shakiness, the juddering, and then there we go. Beautiful. Oh, what a sight. What a sight. Did you just see our city just disappear off in the distance there? This game is massive, man. This game is massive. It's absolutely ridiculously huge. Alright, fantastic. Uh, okay, cool. That that's That's all well and good. <laughs> that's all well and good. The plane is working. And that's fine. What's the deal over here? Have these tourists been picked up? I would assume so. Oh god, I hope so. You've got three tourists. Right through the tunnel right now. Okay. We'll get this sorted. There's still tourists coming down over here, eh? Guessing they're walking over from the hotel. Like, I can't really stop them from doing that, apart from demolishing these, uh... Demolishing these, which, I, I mean, I guess that's an option. I guess that's an option. Okay, let's check something real quick over here, though. Um, economy, tourism. Yikes, that trip score. Really kind of dropped, didn't it? wonder what happened. Western tourists, many entered the Republic. One trip ended prematurely. I'm sure we're going to get a couple more of those. No tourists dying, yeah, so that's good. Why did the trip score drop so much, actually? We're doing better now, but why did it drop so much? Um... Last month was 2.1. Last year was 2. All time is 1.9. This month... Because again, it, it marks them separately, so I'd be okay if the Western tourists marked us down because they were stuck at the airport forever before they had to leave. That'd be fine, but why are the Soviet, Soviet tourists having a bad time? Uh, I guess we have to concern ourselves with their... Uh, sporting needs. Unable to get electronics. I don't know. Oh, right, right. I've been. I've actually been warned that they uh, they need electronics. Um, they get picked up over here, and they get dropped off over here. There's no shopping nearby. I could add the shopping mall to their uh, route. I suppose they're able to walk from the bus stop. Actually, 
They would be able to walk from the bus stop to the uh, the shopping mall. We have no food over here. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Why is there a backup of uh, food supply? We've been fine for so long. What's happening now? Got crops. Got crops, no workers. Hmm. This is what's up. How did this happen? What? How did this happen? We've been fine forever. We've been fine forever. And now out of nowhere, we got a jam over here. Bringing quite a bit to a grinding halt. I'm not sure how easily this will be fixed. I have to flip quite a few of these around. If I'm lucky we'll clear. You're going to turn around, aren't you? Yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck. Okay, this is going to be. I'm going to have to like adjust semaphores and stuff. You know what? I'll, uh. I'll do it probably between this session and next. It's an easy it's an easy fix. I know what to do. It's just tedious. We've hit the hour mark. I don't want to get bogged down in all that nonsense. I want to celebrate the fact that we've uh, we managed to hit our deadline. We've got uh, Western tourists coming through, and they might not be having the best of experiences right now. We'll uh, we'll get that sorted for sure. We will get that sorted for sure. Hopefully, we're going to start delivering food and alcohol and meat and all over here as well. Hopefully, they're going to be taking rides down to the city over here as well hopefully it's all going to work out smoothly because i'm a little uh i'll be honest a little disappointed and panicked about the cableway station i'm sure it's something i'm missing and i'm sure some of y'all who are uh, much more attuned to these details uh will will point out exactly what i've gotten wrong over here with regards to the tourists not uh, being picked up and, and the workers as well but whatever it is uh feel free to let me know if you have any ideas if not then we'll just i mean it's okay we'll scrap it we've got the tunnel built it's, it's all good uh, but yeah, very exciting times. I mean, again, I was supposed to focus not only on this, but also on our uh, kind of beachfront uh, uh, tourist destinations as well. You can see people are driving down over here. We are getting... Um, there's someone actually waiting for service over here. We are getting people driving down here, but where are they working? It looks like they're working at the stadium instead. Uh, we need more cars up over here, I assume, to get people spread out to uh, where we actually want them to be working. More cars... We'll be coming shortly. We'll focus on that next session as well as this. Um, well, when I say this, I mean, you know, just tourism in general, I think is going to be next session uh, after we quickly patch this up. But y'all let me know what you're interested in seeing next time. Hope y'all enjoyed this time. Really quite a massive project that we've undertaken and, uh, and, and, and accomplished. I'm genuinely quite pleased. Uh, genuinely quite pleased. I'm also pleased with the fact that we have crops backed up over here, so at least that means that when the workers finally arrive, that's not what's holding us back. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. Of course, and as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das Vidania. <laughs>